Well, many of you are talking about this next story on our Facebook page. A Muslim man gave out free hugs in downtown Greenville tonight. 7 News reporter Christine Brown found him opening his arms as a sign of peace following the attacks in Paris. She shows us how people reacted to his hugs for humanity. Kind of gives me hope, you know. His arms and heart were open to any stranger that passed by, but his eyes were covered <laughs> to put his trust in the people of Greenville. He's blindfolded. He doesn't know what people are going to do to him. It's just brave of him. Alain Barzenji is Muslim. He's lived in the upstate with his family since he was a child. Yeah, I moved here when I was five years old with my parents uh, in hopes of better opportunity. After the recent attacks in Paris, Alain says he saw a lot of backlash for Islamic faith. That is until he saw a video of another Muslim man, blinded, being hugged by strangers. And he knew he had to do the same for his home. But I didn't expect that much positivity coming on, but I had faith in Greenville. It's something that shows love, uh, peace, acceptance. That's what this was all about. As he stood there for two hours, chilly, and at some points in the rain, response was better than he expected. Many passed by, but many also accepted his embrace. Especially within that first hour. I mean, it was it was just back to back to back to back. Um, not many could see it, but I was tearing up under the blindfold. He's hoping those who took pictures here will post them to social media with the hashtag hugs for humanity like many already have to combat the negativity he's seen online after the attacks. I'm not about the negativity. I always try to spread the positive vibes. He hopes those who didn't take the free hugs will at least keep an open mind to the Muslim community. As you know, some of us really just want better for the world. But for now, at least he knows that he and many strangers can still put their trust in humanity. Treat people like they're people. In Greenville, Christine Brown, 7 News. Allen says he only expected this to be a one-time event for Greenville, but after the positive response today, he says he might be giving out hugs again next weekend.